I forgot to give I forgot to go in and change the title. <laughs> Alright. Hello everybody, welcome to At the Altar. I will change the title as soon as I can. Um, I know that you guys are probably surprised that At, At the Altar is back, but because Ninja came back and I was like, hey, wait a second. Um, we brought it back for tonight only, and we are going to be doing, um, Relentless, which is my, my and, well, Raggedy and my, um, webcomic, and it's about three superheroes with different Im immortality abilities coming together and, and trying to kind of stop an evil villain, but also trying their best to, you know, cope with some of their abilities. Um, real quick, I'm going to introduce the chat, and we're going to start with Booster. How you doing, Booster? Hmm, I yeah. made it. Now, what are you going to be drawing? drawing I... Draw... Do I, do I have yes. to draw? Oh, I better draw something then. I might draw Busty Sidekick. Yes, Busty Sidekick <laughs> will be appearing in Relentless, so... <laughs> oh... Or maybe I'll just draw all the characters. All the I don't characters. know. Do you have all the characters? I'm pretty. I'm a pretty you quick are, artist. You are a pretty quick artist. Are you excited that all uh, to be yeah. at the altar right now? Uh, yeah, I'm thrilled. Are you laughing, Manny? <laughs> you laugh Can at me, man Manny? not laugh? Don't you laugh at me, Manny? Can I laugh? I'll Girl? go over there and I'll cut you. You gonna okay. cut me? You gonna you gonna reach across the ocean? I'm gonna I'll give you a reach around. Let's let's oh. stay appropriate, Ooh, guys. We oh, talked about oh this my. earlier. Move on. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. All right, so Booster's gonna oh. be drawing whatever disaster he comes up with. Uh, we do have Cole <laughs> or Image here, and he does the uh, he is Image Incorporated on Twitter. Very fantastic artist. He did the cover photo for today, and he's also doing some art for Relentless. And he also did a poster that will be in the background for Relentless. How are you doing, Image? Uh, you know, a little peachy, a little under the weather though. Kind of have a bit of a sinus infection thing going on, but. I would not miss this event for the world, let me tell you that. I'm glad. Uh, I mean, if I was, like, decapitated, I'd have my head roll over here and just be like, hey, everyone, I'm just a rolling little head right, over here. Right, right. Um, apparently the chat is saying I'm too <laughs> quiet, so I'll try to talk a little bit louder. Um, what are you going to be drawing tonight? Yes. Me? Uh, uh, like, for me, I'm just trying to draw some poses for image, you know, trying to figure out my character gotcha, a bit. You know, I, I'm also trying to, you know, just practice, like, be faster at drawing, yeah, but well, for me, I just kind of feel like I've hit an art, art block, no, I totally you know? Did, yeah. um, so, we do have, and this you know, is yeah, his same. first time streaming, this is Spider Knight. How are you doing, Spider Knight? Hello, everyone. And this is everyone. his first time streaming, so thank you so much for, for choosing oh, to be is... on my show for the first time. Um, and it looks like you're drawing Pope Fire and Spider Knight, and I love this very much already. Thank you. Okay, never mind. That, that's okay. I'm just gonna yeah, do that. Yeah, that's adorable, and I love it. Um, Manny is over here. Now, Thank Manny you. was one of the people I kind of threatened to be on the show. Hmm. Um, and he is drawing Busty Sidekick I... and Skunk Girl, and Skunk Girl does make a cameo in Relentless, but I will not spoil it just yet. I'm excited for it, though. Um, how are you doing tonight, Manny? Oh, my. I'm doing fine. And, of course, that's that drawing is by oh, Pablo by Romero. Pablo? Freaking so. hell, Pablo. That's by Pablo yeah, Romero. I should have known. Those true. are some nice... Uh... <laughs> now, if you guys don't know, Buffy's so sidekick was a creation by Pope Fire while trolling Trusty. <laughs> Yeah, and then I enhanced you Busty enhanced Sidekick. Busty Sidekick. I liked the skirt. I thought the skirt was a good idea. But no, um, what are you going to be drawing tonight, uh, Manny? Uh, let's okay, be a I'm surprise. Be and um, you know, you know, I yes, always surprise you. Uh, now, if you guys don't know, Pope Fire <laughs> calls his wife Auntie, and Pope Fire may have been spamming his his wife. Uh, to remind her, to remind Manny to be on the show, 
So I have to be nice to Manny today because he did me a favor showing up. So I will not be roasting Manny that much. Uh, because since he is old, right. I can't roast him too much because it does hurt his skin. Um, really? Raggedy, how are you doing today? I am great. I am glad. Happy to be here. Um, Joshua, I swear to God, that account. But but no, Raggedy. Raggedy is the co-writer and artist of Relentless, and he comes up with he well he fixes all of Pope's ideas while coming up with some of the best ideas. Um, so Raggedy, what are you going to be drawing today, and what would you like to say about Relentless? Um. It's coming along amazing. It's it's really coming together. We will be, I think, entering the final stage pretty soon and start actually drawing and scripting. Yeah, really but um, we'll be drawing Sword. Ooh, Sword! I'm so excited for Sword. Sword is actually the I thought you would that my adopted father um came up with the design. So um, I'm really excited that we're finally going to see him because I've been promising my dad, or I call him my dad. We're not blood related, but he's he's pretty much my dad. Um, and I was like, okay, we're we're so excited for this. Thank you for giving us that. I can't wait. No, we'll talk about Sword in a little bit because he's a really interesting character. Um, but I do have to introduce Tank Ferret. And Tank had some problems with his computer, but Tank is such an amazing guy that he still showed up and he still was like, hey, Pope, I'm going to make it. And I'm like, yeah. So Tank, how are you doing? Oh, I'm I'm See, I'm making it go right. Away. So I'm doing sorry. pretty good. Okay, I'm sorry, Tank. I had to, I had to tank. Yeah. I had to tank away Pope Raven's wrench. Okay, Tank, <laughs> what? what are you drawing today? And uh -huh. kind of how, like, well, I guess what are you just drawing today? Oh, I'm going to be drawing Raggedy Man versus a uh, a gang of gun malls led by the uh, Vigilante Granny. <laughs> Vigilante Granny. <laughs> yes, no. I'm excited for that one. I cannot wait. Um, thank you so much for being on here. It means the world to me. Now, your friendly neighborhood ninja, oh. you are back. And we did this stream because you are back. What are you drawing Say hello wow. to everybody and let us all know. Who I you am. Are. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm doing all right, I suppose. Uh, this evening, I'm going to be drawing the uh, three main characters, I suppose. I'm going to draw uh, Pope, Pope Fire there, uh, Raggedy Man, and uh, Dead Boy. And you guys can listen to some trains. I guess you guys missed Everybody those trains. Everybody misses those trains. You have no nice. idea how much how much people missed you. And I'm really glad you came back. Especially to be on At the Altar. It means the world. Charlie, we are going to have to kick you, though, because we have an artist wanting to come in. I love you, dude. Say hello to the chat, and then you're going to have to go. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Bye, Charlie. We He's love so you. Yeah. Charlie was our night poke. Get player, out. Which makes sense because he is our night wing. Uh, now, if you guys didn't notice, I am wearing my costume. And I even included orange paint. So Quote of Raven can't say anything. And you can tell because of how pale my fingers are. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> it is my Pope Fire outfit. And I probably will be taking the wig off halfway through because this thing is itchy and hot. And I do not like it. Um... <laughs> When are you gonna give a twirl? I can't. I can't twirl with a headset. Like, what are you wanting from me? It's gonna. It's gonna uh, move my whole computer around, woman. and then Honestly. there's gonna be problems with that. Um. Ooh, it's Manny's wife is in here. Hi, Manny's wife. Just take it off. Stand up. Do a twirl. I am wearing pants. I am wearing <sighs> pants actually because it's poke fire and. Yes, oh what? Yeah, I am wearing. I am wearing pants. Oh. Well, you probably can't see, but yes, I am wearing pants. No fun. Well, that's the point. I'm not supposed to. This is a Pope Fire stream, and I do not thought myself out on the streams. Now my stupid wig is getting on my nerves. Okay. So there you guys go. You have all <sighs> seen... <laughs> do a hair flip, a hair flip. I can't. The wig gets, like, tangled up. It's really annoying. Uh, but you guys have all seen the Pope Fire outfit. Now we do have a new artist that joined us, mm -hmm, and this mm -hmm. is Jimmy Cricket. And I actually threatened Jimmy Cricket uh, if he did not show up. I was like, you have to be here. It's going to be 
pretty bad for you, and Jiminy kind of had to realize that he had to pop on. How are you doing, Jiminy, and who are you drawing today? He's not even here. <laughs> All right. All right, Jiminy. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to do that the whole time just to mess with me. Um, let's see. Let's show what Raggedy's drawing, because I'd love to see that. Oh, dang it. Is my smoke alarm going off again? I swear to God, I changed those before the stream. I was really adamant that making sure every... Is it... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. Th th there have been no smoke alarms. Okay, People cause, screwing with you. Cause like I've been, I've changed all of them prior. I was like, this is not gonna happen. Eighteen smoke alarms that I changed, so I had to go through like a crap ton of back. Yeah, being the yeah, wow. Don't curse on stream, please. Um, Quinn Fire, thank you, Santa Raven. That's, That's not a curse. That's a smoke Kiwi compliment. That's <laughs> okay, so Jiminy Cricket says uh, he's having trouble with hangouts, but he's drawing Busty Sidekick. Uh, who's drawing sword? Raggedy is drawing sword, so that means it'll probably be the official artwork for it. I spy a greasy kiwi and a Jiminy. Ooh, Zach. Hi, Zach. Um, actually, guys, if you haven't already, mm -hmm. uh, please hit like and please share this out because we are very, very close to our 500 uh, subs goal. I think we, we gained like five new subs today, so thank you guys so much if you're new here. Um, oh, if we could fit Zach, should. we should get him in Can here. Can you send him the link? Riot Kitty's here too. Have you seen his art? It's Riot ridiculous. Riot Kitty's here too. Sorry, I get super excited. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's see who we've got watching. We have Poke Dexter. Poke Dexter is the inspiration for Hassid the Huma Cat. Withheld rather not says says he'll be drawing Bone Star. Um, please don't draw Bone Star because I know what you're implying there, and I do not think that's appropriate. Uh, trusty Sidekick says hello. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Disavow. Starfire fans, hello, Trusty. Trusty couldn't make it today, but you know what? We're still gonna troll him with Busty Sidekick. Uh, Joshua, Good Dog hey, Press, oh. and Yvonne Von Scriber, how are you guys doing? And Hail Raven. Uh, Santa Raven lost her his wrench for being mean to Cat R. Um, inappropriately named Joshua, who is not actually Joshua. How are you doing? Um, Spider Knight is in the chat. Oh, Hikaru. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm super happy you're here, dude. I love talking to you on Twitter. Uh, it. Guy, I'm here for the cosplay butt turnaround. I'm not doing a butt turnaround. I'm sorry. P Kat said something. She said, uh, Sammy, you should be drawing up there. What's Kat even the was point? Hidden by Santa. How do I unhide them? Dang it. <laughs> Santa Raven, <laughs> you monster. Oh, Thunder is here. Thunder is here. Thunder. I love Thunder. I'm so happy to see him here. Uh, Model 316, how are you hey, doing? Paul. Yes, what's going on? Thundar's unhappy with me. Um, I'm gonna try something. I'm, I'm gonna try and share what I'm have on my screen, so I might have to, you know, exit the chat a bit just to try and figure out how I can do that. Why so. is Thundar not happy with me? Oh, no, he's not happy with me. He's saying I'm a liar because I told him once I'm done with lunch, I'll I'll be on Discord to hang out. But uh, then I came in here. Sorry, hey, Poke, can no. you see what's on my screen? Sorry, image. Uh, Yvonne. Uh, but I was I was promised cosplay butt turnaround, so that's why I'm here. No, no, we're not doing that. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry, Booster. booster. Right, whoever said uh, that. Walter, I Walter, I oh, have well. no idea how to say your last name. I apologize. Walter. What's up? Super glad to see you here. Uh, thank you, Yvonne, for fixing the hidden thing. You are my savior, and okay. you make me feel like a boomer. That's better. Uh, trusty, blah blah blah. Oh, skunk girl is here. Skunk girl is still in demand, right, Manny? Yeah, for not, not very much blogger, longer. So if you guys can, once, yeah, once once I send it to the printer, it's gonna be done. So I'm gonna overprint, but when it comes back out, it ain't gonna be as cheap as it is right now. Yeah, guys, definitely, even mm -hmm. put the link mm -hmm. for um skunk girl in the chat, please. Uh, where's the... All right, I'm pretty sure I got everybody. Um, Joshua, I cannot pronounce that name. I hope I said it right. And Vic King, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Thank you guys so much for coming back for the exciting new times of At the Altar. Uh, Song Song is probably asleep right now. She's been very tired and she couldn't make it to the stream. But it's not a big deal because we still love her and we we will still probably kill her in an upcoming um Outlaws video because that's what she does. 
she's she's always she's always mm-hmm, the redhead mm-hmm. that we kill like she's always that voice of them she's it's just her role in the, in the dynamic um it just it, it just has, has to happen, happen. Yeah, it's it's a rule, rule of the like universe. Song voices that character. Yeah. That character yeah. has to die. She died for, as Black Widow. She died as Barbara Gordon, and she died as the D and D master. She, she dies for our sins. She does. She dies for the outlaws' sins. Oh, I'm um, <laughs> oh, sorry. That was a little blasphemous, wasn't it? Well, it was a lot blasphemous, not a little. <laughs> I, 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 apo- I, 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 apo- I apologize, Manny. Manny's gonna put Jeez. you in your place. Please don't, please don't smite me, Manny. Uh, it's not me. I, I wouldn't be near Booster right now. I, I think Booster may be <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, yes, definitely funny. check out Skunk Girl if you have not already. I and several other people make an appearance on one of the covers, the wraparound cover, and it's really nice because if you don't like me, I'm dead on that cover, so you should definitely support it if you don't like hey. Hellfire. And then support it if you do like Bonfire because I'm on the dead. cover. You just sleeping. <laughs> Actually, big news. I hit 1,000 Twitter followers um, today. Thank you guys so much for that, for helping me get there. Thank you, Cult of Raven, because you guys were the big ones helping me push to that. Um, thank you, Outlaws, Titan Squad, and you know all the creators I know. You guys really helped me make that happen. And that was just such an amazing thing today because... You know, Twitter is not always my favorite place. And right. when I hit a thousand, I was like, this is awesome. So thank you guys so much for helping me make that happen. And we do have Eric on here. And Eric is is the artist I used for my icons for almost a year and a half. He actually did two of those pictures. Here, I'll just put two of the pictures, the Starfire and the Night Star. And then I think, there she is. There's the other Starfire. Right, I cannot point. Right there, by the one in the jackets. Well, it's the, the one with the jacket and the cat. Uh, so Eric is an amazing artist. He has a book coming out called Shadow Sentry. And I'm really happy that he's here. How are you doing, Eric? Yes. Oh, Eric's now, awesome. I'll doing really good. Now your name. So okay. bear with me. It's Eric Ninotowski. Yes! You nailed it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> she finally did it. Now say Wachowski. Happy times for Pope. I can never spell it, but it I, can, I, said bad, it, I said it. So that's uh, that's, a, that's a major improvement for me. Uh, now, what are you planning to draw today, if at all? And, you know, kind of just tell everybody, like, introduce yourself. I am... I'm, I'm working on a R2-D2 commission. And then I also have to do a remark on a Miles Morales print. So let me let me show my camera real quick. So I'll be doodling on this R2D2, trying to finish that up. And yes, I think I'm friends really? with him. I don't remember his name right off the bat, but I know we follow each other on Twitter. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Cool. So, cool. Yeah. I I got it at a convention. Which one was it? Um, I don't even remember now, <laughs> but uh, I think he was on the East Coast. Yes, Very Eric nice. is Very the nice. person we always yeah. look for on Drawn and Quartered, even if he's not on the panel. <laughs> yes. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your support, <laughs> and that's why I'm I'm here, because I love you guys, and Pokemon, you're an amazing person. You have a huge heart, and I hope you really succeed in this new endeavor. And uh, since we are at the altar, I just want to say I hope the Lord blesses this uh, this web comic we're for you guys. Excited for it. We've, uh, what we're planning to do with it is mostly what we want. Well, what I want to do with it, Raggedy is a little bit more serious about it. I kind of want to create something that you know our friends can go. I was in a I was in a comic book, even if it's not, even if it's just a web comic. You know, it's one of those things that when when you're included in something, it just makes your heart just. You, you just get so excited and everything's just so amazing. So what I wanted was something that I could have fun doing, but also, um, you know, include people that I really love in it. And that's why At the Altar features so many cameos with Skunk Girl and Sporkman and Booster Kiwi and Cult of Raven and all these other other people that we've met doing this. Um, and and Raggedy, thank God Raggedy's here to, to reel me in because Pope Fire would make this totally, totally like crazy thing. 
No yeah, cameos no. at all. We actually uh, got the idea when we were reading Kingdom Come because Raggedy pointed out some Easter eggs that I never noticed. And then I was like, we should do that with Relentless. Yeah. Put Easter eggs in it. it. And Relentless, it actually started off as more of a, almost like a newspaper comic strip idea. It was going to be very, very short and... Oh. Just as we started talking about it, we had well, so many ideas. The idea was to have like three friends like trying to pick out a video game, <laughs> and then it kind of spiraled into yeah. what it is now, where um, each character has different ab abilities of immortality. And I talk with my hands way too much, and I need to cut that out. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. I do that too. But... Don't be ashamed. It's because you're a spaz. But oh, you're I get fast. excited and I can't stop talking. <laughs> but um, what happened was we kind of started talking about their powers and stuff, and it was like, what if we make this a web comic? And you know, we originally talked about doing like an Indiegogo project, and then it was kind of like everybody else is doing that. We'd like something that's more uh, easily accessed to get. So we decided on a web comic, and I'm super excited because it's going to be a lot of fun. And we've already had a lot of people, like we've had artists and. Uh, you know, friends that have offered to edit things. I know the trading card of Raggedy, Gary Shipman, actually put a few touches on to make it a little bit more unique. And we've had people that are like, yeah, we can check over things. We can edit your ideas and kind of put you on the right direction. So uh, you're not like completely lost about it. So it's been a lot of fun and a lot of people have really helped us with it. So it's kind of become kind of like a family project now. And, and a good example for that is Sword, who was actually designed, like as we talked about earlier from my adopted father, James. I know what too many Jameses, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> what? I know who else do you know? How, know who else do you know, know that is named James? <laughs> Yeah, again. again. Oops, yeah, because I already doxed Pope Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun, and you know we've got uh just so much energy that we've put like already put into this, and you know we've already gotten a lot of advice, and we've got ideas on where we're going in the future, and I'm really excited, especially when we get to the cult of uh, Kiwi, and and that's that's is what we are gonna name it, right, Raggedy. Yes, the cult, cult of Kiwi. See, I've been really we will pushing see. for that one, and Raggedy won't let me do it. <laughs> Raggedy, you piece of. Well, booster, booster won the cult of Kiwi. <laughs> Thanks, sir. For no particular reason. Oh, now you'll be comics is here. Yeah, I accidentally, I accidentally doxed um. your name. <laughs> it's fine, though. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's check out what everybody's drawing. We have Spider Knight. Would you like to tilt your piece a little bit? Uh, uh, sure. I'm not sure how, how much direction to put it in, though. Uh, I'll just tilt the phone to 180. Yeah, it's, it's fine. This is your first time streaming, okay. so it's, it's not, uh, it's not yeah. the the end of the world. Now this is yeah. Spider Knight I have two and Pope say. Fire and Pope Fire is obviously my favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for no reason and for no and for reason, no reason uh, whatsoever. Really? Two things to say. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I yes, it does feel great to have your art in a comic. I mean my art was in there, it was like in the background, it was fading off brick wall and I was fanboying out. What comic was it? <laughs> uh, well, it was on the design for that one. Oh, though, yeah, yeah, for Brazilian, Brazilian, Brazilian Wax. Wax's trading Brazilian card. Wax. Your art was, uh, that was really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, we plan to do kind of yeah. cool Easter eggs like that, because I think yeah. a lot of people will like it. Do you still not um, know what Brazilian Wax means? Isn't it just like, you get a Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It ain't the good. second thing is, uh, <sighs> Hope Fire's uh, left uh, left eye, I think, is huge That's fine. on this. Scene. Yeah, I I don't. Mind. Yeah, it's better than me accidentally putting man arms on women. That's that. that <laughs> no, used to you be a should problem. see my art. I actually had image show me how to draw um characters today because I was like, I'm struggling with this image. Help me. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm self-taught. Mm-hmm. I do have a few books, though, but... Yeah. Oops. Hey, Pope, yeah. I've given you really big bulbs. Is that <gasps> okay? Let's try and keep it PG, please. Uh, Busty, this is a uh, good dark press on Busty's yeah. sidekick. Correct? It is Busty, right? Mm-hmm. I, don't, uh-huh. I don't like the uh-huh. I don't, I don't mm-hmm, like it mm-hmm, at all. No. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it just Why not? doesn't sound like it's not actually um, the truth. What's wrong? The theme is relentless, Joshua. Mm-hmm. And the good part about relentless is it can, literally it can be any character. Like if you have an OC you'd like to draw, you can definitely do that. Um... Now, you can definitely draw one of the main characters from Relentless, but you don't have to. I mean, Eric's in here, and he's drawing R2-D2. Very nice R2-D2, by the way. Her head is a little small. Where are you? Okay, now I want to kind of just draw Hussar, which is, uh, well, not my OC, but it's a friend of mine's mm-hmm. OC. And that we both, he, he he's the writer, I'm the artist. Yes, it, it's been a project that's been kind of like in limbo for a while now. So but we're still planning So Santa for it. Raven says uh, he likes his women with big heads like cats. <laughs> Santa Raven, and then Jiminy Cricket is having some problems, so he will not be showing his art. Uh, it's fine though; it happens. It's a Google Hangouts, and Google hates people, so it happens all the time. Uh, Cole is having problems as well because he's been hopping in and out, kind of like a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Raggedy, would you like to talk about the sword for a bit and kind of explain his powers and what he's known for? Yeah, sword is kind of... He was once partner with a guy named Shield. They formed the team Sword and Shield. Um, they had a falling out because Shield is all about protecting people and Sword is the more violent one. And... Um, he kind of, he has a past with Raggedy Man. Uh, Raggedy was his original sidekick. Or not his original, but sorry, one of his sidekicks. And, um, so he plays well, a Would you say his second role. one? Uh, it's quite possible, Booster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, they have a, uh, a whole past together that you get to see in the second issue of Relentless. Yes, and he is kind of like our Batman, isn't he? If you like. Yeah. If, you like if you like. He is. He's, uh... I would compare him to Batman and, um... Batman v Superman. The Batman who just totally goes way too and far. And the wig did not make it even a fourth... <laughs> to the way that thing was getting way too hot. Um, but yeah, I really like the concept of sword and shield, uh, mainly because I like shield. He's adorable. Um, but, yeah. you know, I really like the kind of... Because it, it, it's kind of... Okay, so when we set up Relentless, we wanted to do sort of... Not really a parody, but more of like a love letter to our favorite heroes, while also kind of making fun of some of the stuff that we thought was a little silly in them. Um, and, and Sword, Sword, yeah. blah, 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 and Sword is kind of the perfect example of that, because I don't really think any of us really hate Batman, it's just mostly mocking the fact that, that he, uh, Yeah, he, he's the Batman who kills the yeah. people instead of sending oh, them I'm to so Arkham. I'm excited for this. <laughs> I keep rubbing my gloves together because they're so cool. <laughs> All right, and Tate, what uh, would you like to talk about your piece for a little bit? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you know, I'm just kind of just put it in the roughs here. I'm going hardcore pen, warming up for Inktober, where I only draw with ink. Uh, so I got Raggedy Man here, you know, deflecting some uh, denture attacks from a denture launching walker. I'm gonna have the uh, the well endowed super super large granny over here jumping through the air. I'm gonna put some more grannies coming in with various geriatric okay. uh, weapons of destruction. You are a goober tank. 
<laughs> I love it. Vigilante <laughs> Grandma was. Um, how did you come up with that one, Raggedy? Because I still don't understand. Listen, there's a lot of alcohol that gets consumed in my house, and you know things just happen. Just they just happen. I that mean, makes sense. And where did Miss yeah, Moose come Moose, from? I don't know. <laughs> and you were a jerk with that one because you said that one was a dead boy's girlfriend. Oh no! I mean, no. If you want to no, be no specious, no, 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 you no, can, no. but. I'm open to. Mm -hmm, no, mm -hmm. I like um, I like when we came up with because one of the first characters that we came up with was Hassett the human cat, and oh my god, it was so cute! Yep. I can't wait for some of the stuff that we've got planned for him. <laughs> we could do an entire I series, mini series with Hassett. He's my favorite. Yeah. If. Sword and Shield are the version of Batman in this world. He's our Superman. <laughs> and he's got showed, such lame powers. I showed the... No, he, he has, has no powers. Well, well, he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so lame. <laughs> I would... I, sho I, I showed my one of my mm -hmm. friends the Hassett art and, and she was like she's got nothing on a toga which is uh, I, I have my friends and and she came up with with like toga the spider cat and i was like well um this one has all the powers of a human and it can talk so yes. it's better <laughs> and if you want to know his voice watch the original super friends cartoon in my head hassett has the voice of the <laughs> announcer i love hassett well, I, have I mean, like, so I you mean like uh, in the Maywall, in the Legion exactly, of Doom. exactly. That's exactly I'm how he no, no, is. Best cat. How about He's you? He's a tuxedo Win. cat. Meanwhile, let the Legion of Doom. He's a tuxedo cat, so he's always uh, dressed for success. That's right. <laughs> Ninja, what are you up to over here? <laughs> <laughs> I am just drawing some no, characters. Do you have a favorite character so far? Because I know I spammed you like three days ago with all the characters. Oh, well, obviously it's going to be Pope Fire. <laughs> Sorry, Raggedy Man. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, she's getting actually, killed off. Actually, the main cast of oh. <laughs> immortality abilities. So that's going to be very difficult for you. <laughs> Damn it. I've written myself into a corner. No, um, Actually, so we can kind of talk about the main cast here. Um, and and uh, Friendly Ninja, have I kind of told you about some of the abilities and stuff? Not really. Okay, so um, we, we start <laughs> off with... Um, <laughs> So we start off with yeah, Raggedy tell me Cat, about who it. just has the he just has the ability of immortality, um, and he heals at the normal rate. So you uh -huh. know he doesn't really have he 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 can get hurt and it's gonna take forever to heal. And he also experiences pain like everybody else. Um, he just can't die. And uh, we have Pope Fire, who's got the ability to heal, but she has to kind of cut herself with her. Uh, a staff in order to kind of cast the fire that she heals with because the, the fire is essentially in her bloodstream. Um, and then we have a dead boy uh, or dead B01 and he has the um, nanobites that instantly heal him. The oh, Well, not instantly. There is a delay to the, to the heals. He just has to be very careful because every time he gets even a paper cut, he now loses a small part of his humanity as the nanobites will will uh, heal that. And it's it's very interesting kind of the dynamic because they all kind of rely on each other. And uh, one of them is obviously very safety precaution, while the other one is a little bit more uh, free spirited, and the other one is kind of a <laughs> a very how would you describe Raggedy uh, Raggedy Man? Uh. And he's very Carefree. dark and broody. Yeah, raggedy. Oh, you're talking about raggy. Sorry, I thought you were talking about fire. Yeah, he's, yeah, very, he's very dark, dark and, broody. and broody. I love how um, very emo. 
<laughs> Actually, what we decided on was each character had to have um, a kind of downside to their abilities, and with Pope Fire, we wanted it to be having to harm herself to help others, and obviously the fire will heal her as well. Um, the only problem is, is it's fire, so it's going to burn you, and you are going to feel everything in reverse. <laughs> So it can be very painful, and it, it gets to the point where Raggedy doesn't even want her to heal him, because he's like, no, I'm fine, like, all it, I just smashed my hand, please stay away from me, and then with with uh, dead, dead BO1, um, he's more willing to be healed, because it hit, for him it comes at more of a cost where he can uh, <laughs> lose his humanity. And yes, we are in talks, Pablo, of adding trusty sidekick to Relentless, mainly because... Busty sidekick, yes, busty sidekick. Mean busty sorry. sidekick. Uh, mainly because I want mm -hmm, to see mm -hmm. busty sidekick, if not only to troll trusty. Um, yeah, trusty's actually doing some promotional art for us, um, so I'm super excited about that because he's doing kind of, kind of like the cover for us, isn't he, Gregory? It's gonna be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. He's got to finish B. Ortiz's commission, and then he's moving on to the relentless thing. Uh, I see your message. I will read it. But yeah, I'm super excited because we've already we've already kind of planned for a few arcs ahead. We're doing kind of like the Marv Wolfman style, where you plan things uh, far ahead of time, so you can kind of not really spring it on your viewers like some of the modern com comics do. Uh, eventually. Oh, okay, well. it's, um, All right, Booster, what do you want to scare me with today? Uh, this is this is my my piece okay. for today. It hasn't on my <laughs> screen yet. I have no words. All right, Booster. Oh, boy. This is my Kiwi, and he is my favorite. And then he says yes. That's really adorable, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's really cute. Oh, that's nice. I like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, and I, you have I, very I big going bobs. to comment on that. I like how good you're getting at drawing the Booster Kiwi. <laughs> mm -hmm, it's so mm -hmm. cute. I even remembered his whiskers because people seem to uh, forget he has whiskers, and I wanted to give him a smug little face as well. On my... mm -hmm. No, no. Well, that the one I have is of a Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I forget that he always have whiskers. <laughs> He's so cute and smug. He's good night, Riot Kitty. Mm -hmm, Thank you mm -hmm. for popping in. Uh, Pablo says, what do you, that's a good booster, but it needs more. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, he, ne the, the kiwi needs more bobs and hair on them. <coughs> and Jiminy said he, he would as well. No. Do you want me to give the kiwi bobs? Because I can. It's, uh, just a very quick little. I mean, that's how you sell comics. It's. I. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They go. I don't they don't call chicken press for nothing, baby. Psychic. It looks very much like Starfire. But now that I said it, he's probably going to change it to Busty Sidekick. <laughs> it, it's that's Manny. that's should, a really good Starfire. Nothing else but greatness. <laughs> Adrian, how so. you doing? Yeah, Adrian is a regular for At the Altar. He's really mm -hmm. bummed that he couldn't make it. There was a small issue where Pope Fire forgot, and yeah, well, okay. So it what was happened regular. was. I, I literally, I sent a message to to the wrap, wrap around cover thinking Adrian was there, and then I had posted on my Twitter, and Adrian didn't check that, which is my fault, and I thought that I had talked to him in Discord, and then it turns out Pope Fire didn't, so I feel kind of like a jerk, because he was really excited, and he couldn't make it because he had prior plans, so I'm really sorry, Adrian, I love you, and I, I will accept my mistakes, and you can punish me later. Um, not... Don't be a dirty. Whoa. Hey, now. Um, yes. Oh, yes, yes, help yes, it's yes. my he default. a cover for us. Now, it's not finished. It's actually going to be, like, kind of a, a poster. Actually, let me pull that up. 
because we have several artists drawing posters for us and Adrian is one of the people and it includes but is not limited to uh, he just messaged me on Twitter and I'm having a hard time finding it there it is okay but yeah we've got permission to include several characters on a on on things so we have permission and then hopefully I can pull this up correctly Sorry, I'm still trying to get used to Streamlabs and all that fun stuff. But it is um, a poster that includes your friendly neighborhood ninja, Eortiz, and Niobe, uh, and um, the main character from not Niobe, the main character from Blue Mamba, whose uh, whose name I cannot pronounce. <laughs> yeah, Jiminy's here, guys. He just can't talk. He's having Google Hangouts. But yes, Adrian drew this lovely piece for us. It's gonna be one of. It's either gonna be like a poster or like a video game cover. Uh, it's very pretty, and I really like it. So thank you so much, Adrian. Somebody said something. Can you hear me? Yes. Jiminy, we hear you. Hear you hear me? You hear me? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can change it. You, I don't care. Hey, can I change my? You can. You can draw a piece of paper, and I'd be happy. Yep. What? Not gonna ban not gonna banish me. Uh I'll think about not it. Not gonna banish me if I change. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I live in fear of poke fire, so I, I have to be careful what I do. I'm a wise woman. Ah, ah, see you're a wise woman. Well, Is it okay, Pope Fire no, your it, character? I actually got the name Pope Fire. Like I I've been Pope Fire for about a year and a half now. Well yeah, about a year and a half now, haven't I, Booster? <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. yeah. And you made the name up. <laughs> I did. Okay, so I did the most woman thing <laughs> ever. <laughs> there was this person that was mockingly <laughs> calling me the High Priestess of Starfire. So I, I was like, okay, so I'll go by High Priestess of Starfire. Then I had another friend that was like, no, you should change it to Pope Fire. And I love the name. And ever since then, I have been Pope Fire. I no longer call myself anything else. Like. Uh. It, it, no one, but no one told her that priests and popes are different. And, the, and there's one pope, so, and they're typically not women. Pope, pope Fire is such an iconic name. <laughs> now, <man. laughs> this is typical SJW is they rebooted the pope as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Whoa. so I did. It, it was the most open <laughs> thing ever. I did it out of complete spite. Hey, that's the best way to I, do things. I, I, Sorry. I just, I, I just. That's what you do. You laugh at I, things. You, if somebody starts calling you something mean, you're like, oh, I can totally. I love that name, High Priestess of Starfire. That's awesome. I'm taking it. And then uh, when I found a way to shorten, it was like Pope Fire, and I love the name Pope Fire, and I've had so much fun being Pope Fire that, you know, have evolved into the highest level of the Church of Starfire, level orange. <laughs> I love my chat. <laughs> I would have gone with Rabbi Fire. That's not, that doesn't roll off the tongue. Like, okay, when, when, when you're a fan... When you're a fan, uh, uh, you want to go with awesome. something uh, that the creators uh, will notice. And that was essentially what I was going with, because I just wanted people to read my chats on live streams. Uh, and it worked. <laughs> Basically, you want to go with something that streams. Hey, Pope Fire me was senpai. such a weird name that people were like, oh, there's Pope Fire. And it's easy to pronounce. I got tons of mod ships by being Pope Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Trapfire or outlaw origins. <laughs> Pope equals man, therefore you are trap. You okay? <laughs> but I love it because there's so many other popes now. You have a Pope Dexter, you have a Pope Raven. There's been some other popes that have popped up and quickly disappeared because I couldn't keep up with us. So it's been a lot of fun. It's kind of like its own icon thing, right? Oh, there's a Pope Rogue, and then a doesn't Celtic Moon use like a Pope Rogue icon? Yeah, does she? I don't remember. She has a Rogue icon. I haven't seen it in forever. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Pope Raven is a better name. 
Pope Cthulhu. There was a Pope Cthulhu, and everybody thought that was me. That guy had, like, the... Okay, that guy <laughs> was, Cthulhu. like, a grammar god. He did not misspell anything. He did not miss a comma or, or a question mark or anything like that. And people were saying it was me, and I was sitting here like, you do realize I am grammatically challenged. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Poop fires what people cool. leave on your doorstep of Halloween. Actually, <laughs> we have. Hello. <laughs> Actually, we have a lot of kids that trick or treat here, so I usually leave out. Um, I don't. I just leave out a bowl of candy, and they never touch it. I I just leave it on the doorstep. I'm like, yeah, just take it. I don't care. <laughs> but it's always like Twizzlers or Snickers or something like that, because I don't eat candy, or I try not to. Santa Raven takes mm. credit for making my life more fun. Yeah, I will say the Cult of Raven definitely has kept me on my toes. Uh, Pope Dexter wants to know if anybody is drawing Hassett. Is anybody mm. drawing Hassett? Mm. Okay, Who's okay. gonna draw Hassett? Yeah, I mean, I'm done with mine. I, I, I maybe I can't start that great. You were the only yeah, one. Yeah, you did that outlaw picture that we like, used really? for um, the movie night, and it was so cute. He was such a cute little kitty. <laughs> Santa Raven wants to know if anybody is drawing toes. Yeah. <sighs> Raven. Raven. Hmm. Toes. I'm drawing R two D two feet. Does okay, that count? That brings up a solid question. Look Do the robots toes. in Star Wars have toes? Some do. Uh, Who has some do? I'm trying to think if C3PO. He doesn't have toes, but he might have. I've seen almost his every feet aren't movie like. Movie yeah. Time. Yeah, he's got like covered booty looking things, right? Yeah. Uh, I remember just one Jedi giant. Oh. That, I remember trying Jedi. I and they're. they're that tor- that droid torture chamber in Jabba's palace that that the one one of the droids had toes. Mm. I know which scene you're talking about. Yep. Yeah, they're well, branding I- the feet. Yeah, I always wondered why the robot would feel that. Yeah, who would build that? <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars is horrible. Battle droids <laughs> kind of have Don't toes. Star Trek is where it's that, at. But battle droids kind of have toes. Um, it's how did we get on? Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. I see. I, um, I see it. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. When I was a kid, when Roger I was a kid, it was the such a big thing. Everybody would always go Roger, Roger. <laughs> no, or they, Duck Dodgers. My, my school was like really big into okay. Star Wars, okay. and um, we we would all play with like sticks. Like, it, it got so bad to the point that they actually banned, like, if you saw a stick, if you were caught holding a stick, you would get instant, like, out of recess. Um, but we were all playing Star Wars, and somebody that, I'm not going to name names, but her name rhymes with dope, may have been Darth Vader. Um. <laughs> nice. I mean, I've been Darth Vader as a kid. It, yeah, it's fun I... until you die. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I never watched the Star oh, Wars child, movies until 2015. Child, child, child. <laughs> so Let's basically, see, I've been when them I got around I to the Empire Strikes Back, I was like, "Oh no, I didn't see that coming." Oh wait, yes, everyone so, in school spoiled I'm it for me. I'm gonna say something that's probably controversial. <laughs> I like the prequels. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's not, yeah, it's not a lot of people now. Show. A lot of people are like, it's like, Phantom we wouldn't Menace have Darth Maul without him. Yes, Although, Phantom Menace has Jar Jar Binks, but it also has Liam Neeson, which is not bad. Although for me, it's like, not my the worst. issue with the prequels is that it got <laughs> too involved with space politics. That's where um, I didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> don't forget midichlorians. <laughs> I, I don't know. When I was a kid... I, that was the big thing when I was a kid was Star Wars, and I loved Star Wars when I was a child. I don't really love it as much anymore, and it, it has a lot more to do with the fandom behind it than it did uh, the new movies. I haven't seen a Star Wars movie since uh, The Last Jedi, which 
my aunt had bought on DVD and I had watched it with her. And you know what? The first time I watched it, it was okay. Then the second time I watched it, it was bad. And then I started realizing kind of like some of the problems people were having with it. And after that, I just haven't been interested in Star Wars. Um, <gasps> Jacob's here. Yeah, same here. I mean, for me... Oh, I'm sorry, you go yeah. first. I'm... Yeah, I'm young. I, I, I'm in the minority that kind of at least enjoyed The Last Jedi, and I'm still interested in Star Wars. I probably will forever be, unless they like... I, I don't know. Uh, it takes a lot for me to like, like to suck the enjoyment out of everything. And I totally relate to, to fandoms ruining things, because I'm a Spider-Man fan, and that fandom is... Like, it's not... I think you cut out there, buddy. <laughs> the most toxic, but right, yeah, sorry. I'll kind of agree with you there. The, thankfully, the Teen Titans fandom, thankfully the Teen there. Titans oh, fandom well. has always been pretty chill. There was a time when there were some people that had hopped on that mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. wanted um. It's I nice. Do, you contain don't all I? the toxicity in the Titans <laughs> fandom. Yeah, Pope Fire. They mm-hmm, just mm-hmm. they send all the <laughs> Pope Fire, and I just harbor it and I spread it in open. But no, um, <laughs> but no, um, I mean, I think the reason why people talk most about the toxicity mm-hmm. is because it's actually the most interesting as well. Because, like, with the peaceful factions, it's like, mm-hmm. what's there to talk about? We yeah. just sat around and talked. Yeah, I can see that. Um, yeah, now that. there's some fandoms that have been infamous for toxicity, Steven Universe, and uh, other shows kind of similar to it. But, you know, I do think that. For the most part, fandoms are fine as long as they're small. As soon as they get big, that's when you're that's when you should worry. When they start popping yeah. up on Tumblr is when you should worry. Oh yes. Um, Isn't Tumblr, Tumblr dead yeah, right now yeah. though? Funny thing, Tumblr died the moment they um they took um not safe for work pictures off when they said we don't want that here anymore. Um yeah, there's this like artist called Derpixon. Like he basically made a whole animation called the Artist Migration. It's like it's it almost feels like yeah, the trail of, of te- like to tears Tumblr, for artists right now. With that. Uh... Yeah, Twitter, Twitter. Excuse you mean me. a lot of them went to Twitter? Or... Um, but other than that, like they mostly stayed. They mostly stayed in one. They just moved to another site. Now they did go to some other ones, but it hasn't been as bad as it was on Twitter. And Twitter was kind of already a cesspool of them, anyways. Um, let's check out Jiminy's piece because right now it's looking like a bunch of scribbly lines. <laughs> I love it. There's a bunch of scribbly lines. Now. Good. <laughs> so I do have a question. It's a raggedy what man. What do you so think of the characters so far, and are there any changes you would make to any of the characters? To so what raggedy man? Um, no, I like them. I mean, they seem pretty interesting. I like the whole, you know, immor- mm-hmm. immortality but uh, with drawbacks idea. I think that's pretty cool. So um, no, it's just a question of the yeah, stories that they're really going to be put into. So. And especially since we get cool stuff like this, yeah. these scribbly lines. Ah, quickly! Ripping people off for free, huh? Hey, the only of Jacob nah. is here. Slave away. <coughs> it's all part of the. Well, it's all actually, part of the plan. We told their, all the artists hey. that if they have an OC, they could draw that here as well. Yeah. All right. I, I don't know what to draw. All right, finish. let's check in no, on I Tank's know, piece of Raggedy versus the Vigilante Grandma. <laughs> Made a little more progress. Every time we do this, there's always somebody that does something that's just so... It's so perfect. <laughs> Boy, action. I think Vigilante Grandma has been your favorite so far, right, Rex? <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Her geriatric gang, gang of gun malls. 
<laughs> kind of reminds me of that grandma that was wielding that gun in Captain America: The First Avenger. Oh yeah, <laughs> the one who was a guard at the uh, at the facility. The Too bad she soldier. died before she did anything bad. Eh? <laughs> I was thinking of that old lady in Madagascar too. Oh, <laughs> I love her. I love her I in love Madagascar. Lady. Yeah, when she, she's getting all the the junk. <laughs> I love it. I I love that face off she had with Alex. It's like wah 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 wah. It's just like <laughs> that's a tough old lady. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a kid, uh, when I was a kid, we had the oh, DVD of Madagascar, and my older brother took took it to a friend's house, but we only had the extra DVD, like the extras that came with it. So there was a short of it of the grandma and her poodle, and <laughs> I don't remember a lot from it, but it was a really funny, um, because she was just so, she's like written like a god, <laughs> and it's so funny. She was. She was written like Batman. Grandma. Wait, like, the, was this short like on this Madagascar DVD? It was it like a Christmas special? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like that was a Christmas special, mm-hmm. and I think that was like, just was in living the first in this one. hotel, and you know, like this greeter at the hotel is like, "How do you do, ma'am?" It's yeah, like, she was a and she just like grandma. punches him in the face. Yeah, and her dog yeah, I remember, was like I remember freaking watching scary. it and not liking the dog. That's really one thing I remember the most from it. All right, let's check in with Manny. Hello, Manny. And I knew it was Starfire. I can spot a Starfire a mile away. It's a superpower. <laughs> it's her fire. I figured it was Starfire. It's a superpower can... called autism. <laughs> I have that power. What? By the <laughs> Thank you, Booster. You're always there to make sure my ego doesn't get too big. But uh, what inspired you Love to you. draw the George Perez it was a plan. fire? Because I love the way George Perez draws, and I have that kind of style. And since this might be the last... Uh, at the altar for a while, might as well do a starfire for you. It only took a year of begging from Pope, and he finally did it. Yes. Oh, I've done starfires on here. It's a good starfire. Many times. This, thank Uh, you so much. I love it. It's beautiful (laughs) and perfecto, and I love it so much. And thank you so much for popping on here. Uh, Would you like to talk about, well, first off, um, what do you think well, of Relentless, and is there any changes you would make, or um, anything you recommend? Because you have written a comic, and you would probably be somebody that we definitely want that insight from. <laughs> the only thing I can say about doing your own comic, you think you got enough time, but you never have enough time. Time runs out on you guys, so try you guys best. Try to stay up on top of things. Do not uh, worry, time just I runs out on you all the time. Knows that it's painful. <laughs> <laughs> not in you know, that way. You know, oh, sure. Booster's here. Yeah. You can only push well, so I, far. Because you know? we are doing a webcomic, so I think that gives us a little bit more freedom for it. Um, no, I do understand that we can't take like a year to get the, the book out, but I think what we're doing the most is we're trying to keep things as simple simple right you say that word for me yes it's simple as possible while also trying to make it to where it looks uh, visually appealing to people that want to read it um right now we're just in scripting phase and finishing designs and stuff but i think when we finally do get it out people will really like it i'm hoping that people will love it and, and want to read more um hopefully we won't take a year to get stuff out but it is me and raggedy and raggedy and i do kind of complement each other personality wise and i do think we work well enough together to be able to make this uh make this happen as quickly as possible while still telling a good story 
And I'm really promoting myself tonight. <laughs> yes, you are. Shameless plug. Hey, well, actually, shameless plug. Why plug. not? Good Dunk Press has actually done Skunk Girl, which is the unbreathable Skunk Girl, which is still in demand on Indiegogo. And Yvonne Van Scriver, if here, will post the link. Um, please check it out. It is running out of time. And I actually appear on the wraparound cover with several other indie creators, including but not limited to Edwin Boyette, Tank Ferret, and Booster Kiwi. So please check it out. And yes, thank you for the five second shameless plug. Yeah. And you uh... know. Yeah. And Skunk Girl number two is in the works already, and there is a character inspired by a main that Hopefire gave herself a few months ago. So, so okay. that's going to be in that the book. Uh, I was that dedicated to troll you that I spent, fire. I think, two hours researching everything I could about skunks. And I was very dedicated because what I did was I found out that the, the a natural predator for skunks is owls. So I changed my name to Owlfire on Twitter and I walk, rocked that for like, what, three weeks? <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, and I was also done, jokes on her, done her sidekick <laughs> Kit, which is a baby skunk. I've done a lot of memes of Skunk Girl. My favorite one so far has been the Peppa Pig one. <laughs> Peppa Pig. I just saw. Uh, Ed yeah, I can't believe owls eat skunks. That's disturbing. Including skunks, and the skunks can't wow. really spray them when they make the swoop. So it's actually quite a quite the enemy form. Yeah. Owls are disgusting now. What if what if they're spraying while do. they're being carried that off is, into the air? Is, is that like a form of uh, air bombardment? <laughs> <laughs> My... <laughs> like if you happen to be under that, you'll get like pepper spray. <laughs> that should be like that should be a form of that should be a form of warfare. Owls <laughs> carrying skunks and dr dropping them into terrorist yes. locations. We'll be done That's with ISIS in no time. time. The only no, way to okay, get this, is I tried so juice. hard to get Kit, because he's going to use Kit. Like, you're using Kit sometimes, right, Manny? <laughs> I'm excited. I'll show everybody what Kit looks like when you get Kit. But I tried so hard to get, to get it? it to where Kit's from a tomato it's farm. So excited. Manny, it's good to hear your voice. Wait. Ninja, I I really miss you. We love your little giggles and stuff, dude. Yeah, never I'm sorry for being giggles. away for so long, Manny. Hey, dude, life comes first, people. This is YouTube. YouTube is fake. Come on, it's not real life. You know, what? so it's good to have you back. It's true. Look, the oh, fire is uh, cosplaying right now. Yeah. So he. <laughs> so this this is her character. I, I don't think that's cosplaying. It's kind of like when Batman dresses, you know, Batman's really Batman and he dresses up like Bruce Wayne. Pope Fire is Pope Fire. She just once in a while dresses normal. She is who she's right now. We're seeing who so she this, was always meant to be. This exactly. Is this is how she identifies. He's my little dude, and I love him, and he's from a tomato farm, and he's a sidekick to Skunk. Girl, and he may or may not get killed. Uh, he, uh, on a tomato farm? He will be in Skunk Girl number two. On a tomato uh, he farm? does appear in Skunk Girl number one also, <laughs> technically. But in number in Skunk Girl number two, uh, yeah, he, do, he does he does appear. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Might be very short. Uh, yes, it I might be very short. Be. And when I designed him, I was actually just trying to troll you. <laughs> I, I just wanted to mess with you. <laughs> I know what I'm. And I'm gonna troll you back. I've That's the whole thing. This, I've, I've, I've grown to love this little guy. He's my little dude. And I've even we've even done chibis of him. He's 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 a little baby skunk. And if Manny hurts the little baby skunk, he's heartless. <laughs> I do. Oh yes, skunk girl wearing pants. Here's some more Pope Fire's artwork. Yeah, you have no idea how difficult it was for me to yeah. do that because I've never done it before. Yeah, more I skunk girl wearing pants. This one was cute. 
Yeah, but it's kind of funny that I placed it right next to Pablo I Romero. Have my my little chibi scarecrow is just too perfect. <laughs> All right, what did you draw, Booster? Okay, done. Oh lord. Hold on, it's. I bad. I drew some conflicts today. <laughs> hey pal, I'm the only adorable fluffy sidekick around here. Screw off, Burb. Uh, Hassett is not a sidekick. He's a full-on superhero. Thank you very much. No, I am not ignoring chat, guys. I'm just ignoring Magatine oh, uh, Joshua. Um, doodled yourself. Doodled you something. Check Twitter. Okay, I will definitely check Twitter. Um, oh, it's adorable. Okay, how, how's that? <laughs> I'm the only fluffy side around here. <laughs> I love it. That's beautiful, Sammy. I, I fixed it. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. Oh, that's that's nice. Let me uh, let mm -hmm. me show you guys what that's Sammy accurate. just drew, because I think you guys will really love it. Um, oh no, skunk gas. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Let me. Yes, Sammy, I've been trying to get on at the altar. I, I kind of pressured him a little bit. I was like, you got to come on. And he's like, I don't know if uh, he would know how. Actually, I need to thank Yvonne because Yvonne really helped uh, one of the artists I know recently. He was trying to teach him how to stream. Now, this piece is from uh, Sammy or Sammy Guy off of Twitter. Uh, please go check out and follow him because he is adorable. And he really needs more more followers because he's only got 14. So let's try and make it 20 today if we can, guys. Yeah, that's very, very beautiful. Oh and my I love God. it, Sam. That's I'm very cool. my icon for a little bit because it's very nice and I love it. Hmm. She ignores her panel, so don't feel too bad. Yeah, I'm, I kind of get on a habit of talking and then I can't stop. <laughs> no, Pope Fire talking too much. When does no. that happen? <laughs> That's very hard to believe. That's why I'm always tired after these, is because I spice <laughs> stuff in my air. Uh, that's cute picture. Oh, she's streaming. So is everybody actually serious about leaving? <laughs> no, Nighthawk. Not Hawk, Nighthawk. They're trolling. All right, let's check in on Eric. How you doing, Eric? Doing good. Doing good. Sorry, I was just uh, I had to go over to Twitter and I, check out some I of your recent posts. Today. I feel like I'm behind. <laughs> I know it. You know what the funny part is? is it Ooh, took me awesome! To Congratulations. <laughs> but it did do a thousand because I literally got a thousand in like what two weeks? Well, nine hundred. It took me almost like two months. So it, it's kind of funny how that works out. Actually, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Yep. It's all downhill from oh, here. You just you know pick them up and just keep Michael, growing. My goal is to get Mike Miller to follow yep. me, I don't know, maybe. and I'm going to follow <laughs> yeah. him until he does. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. Do it. Now, do you want to show off your little R2-D2 <laughs> for a little bit and kind of talk yeah. about your book? I'm sure, if your you'll let me. Well, I think we should talk about talk your about book. Do you like Keep to talk about your book? This? Is there something you change, or is there any advice you can give us? Um, okay, you're gonna have to tell me about it because I still don't even know the concept. And it is you haven't told topic. me. Um, and Raggedy, step in and help me as we go because you're kind of more serious. You're kind of the more serious one, and Pope Fire makes too many jokes. Um, and I talk to myself in the third person. Okay. Um, so okay. relentless <laughs> is. Okay, so imagine a world that's kind of, sorry, that was really weird, thunderstorm, sorry, um, imagine a world that's Relentless. kind of surrounded no. by, like, <laughs> overfilled with superheroes, um, and we happen to follow around a kind of a team of superheroes that each have unique immortality abilities, um, and they really aren't that great of superheroes, and they kind of have to step up once a villain starts killing a lot of superheroes in a very quick time span. Um, and the world is so filled with superheroes that people aren't even picking up that they're dying because they, they just think, okay, maybe they took like a vacation or something. Or, and it's not until a, the death of a very popular hero that 
people start catching on, and, and the team of Relentless kind of has to go in and f f find and stop this villain at any chance necessary, and they're kind of the perfect team for it, because each of them have different immortality abilities. Um, now, the immortality abilities do come with a cost. You don't just get immortality. Each one kind of has a downside to it, and each one kind of complements each other's powers. And I need... I need to go get a drink, so I will be right nice. back. Nice. Eliminate. Cool. <laughs> uh oh. Someone better take over the stream and make sure there's no dead air. Then. Oh no! No dead air. Go team booster. Go team Here. booster. Go team booster. Go. I need people say I need go some water or something. Hey, so I was going to make my own comic. I will call it Re Roofless. It is about the adventures of a small unkillable kiwi who and has a food for chicken. Who he does he does <laughs> fried chicken, mind you, and he goes around the world defeating all of the evil KFCs. Can, can I he, join your team? He, it, just, no. Just the evil KFC. <laughs> not the Sorry about that. Good KFC. What? What did they do? They're all evil. Oh, thank God she's back. I imagine. I, I had to carry your stream while you were gone. I did an incredible <laughs> job, mind you. But, we only um, lost 12 yeah. people. Are there any questions you have, Eric, or any advice you can give us? Um... I mean that that sounded good. You've got your your heroes, and you've got your problem that they need to fix, and it sounds cool. It sounds like the, you know, like a good plot. The stakes are high. Hey, Papa, what, do what do you think of the name? What do you think of the name Re Roofless? The the name of Re Roofless. Uh, that could use some work. Uh. Now, you have a comic coming up called <laughs> Shadow Six. I know. Is I know. there anything you'd like to say about that? Um, sure. It is. Um, I'm a big fan of the 90s. And so it's like an X-Men meets the Matrix superhero team book with a supernatural twist. Um, yeah. So I'm going to launch it in November on Indiegogo. And what else should I say? Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm, I'm finally launching my own book. So it's kind of a, one of those things that you finally get to do. And I know we're all I'm excited super excited. Too. Eric so. is such a great That's artist, awesome. guys. He's yeah. actually done a lot of art for me. I forgot I was in the yellow chair behind me. That kind of scared me. Um, but he did the Pope Fire in the 76 jacket, Pope Fire and Pope and Cat. And then he did some headshots for me of Nightwing, Starfire, and Damien. Oh, and he did the first Starfire sketch I ever received. It was really nice. <laughs> So thank you so much, Eric, and we will definitely be promoting that constantly and consistently, mm -hmm. so much so that awesome. my viewers will probably have nightmares of Shadow Sentry. That's going to be my goal. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. There is I no appreciate it. If they are immortal. Actually, <laughs> there kind of is. Very I mean, cool. While they are immortal, the people around them are not. And considering that there's so many heroes involved, or or so many heroes in the world around them, and you know they they've got to be friends with some of them, <laughs> and yeah. Especially considering their immortality isn't always a good thing. Just because they're immortal doesn't mean they're invincible. Yeah, I mean, and the they're not invulnerable to attack Death either. Ray's powers in particular. Um, every time that he has to use his his nanobites, or every time that the nanobites start healing a part of his body, he's losing a part of his humanity. Every time Raggedy gets hurt, he can't just quickly heal, he does have to kind of deal with the pain for a bit. Um, and every time Pumpfire uses her power, she has to hurt herself to accomplish that. So there, there is some issues there, and it's not like they just are able to, to you know, just live through everything. There is, well, I mean... Technically, yes, but there is consequences to their powers, and it's not always the best thing to be immortal, uh, I should say. What's a human cat? A human cat is a cat that was bitten by a radioactive man. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Like Spider-Ham was bitten by a radioactive pig? 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will always correct people when they say it was a pig bit been by a radioactive spider. All right, I will let's always check correct in them. With... Let's check in with uh, Ninja, because it looks like he's gotten pretty busy. What on earth? <laughs> Uh, I figured, uh, since, you know, you wanted characters drawn up, I figured I'd draw your uh, relentless crew with uh, my little girl's character, Nightmare Chicken Feet. Nice. Yes, so uh, they're going to be facing a bunch of chickens. Honestly, that sounds perfect. Thanks to Nightmare Chicken Feet. Really? My four-year-old came up with this character one day. This man has uh, the the bottom half of him is essentially a chicken, but uh, the top half of him is like kind of like a centaur man. But he's got chickens for hands and a chicken for a face. Ah. Now, this was this was all created by my four-year-old. This I is the you. description she I gave love me. Your daughter. She's so creative. He seemed like a fun character. And he can, can he can he can control chickens. Hey, what's on? What's on? Mm-hmm. It's funny because she, like this character has really been developed in her mind. Uh, <laughs> my kids run around and they play That's nightmare adorable. chicken. Now I know how you and I started a friendship by me drawing fan art. Like, you drew a fan art of Starfire, and then I started drawing fan art of Ninja. And I think I actually drew your daughter once, didn't I? Yes. Yeah. I, I called them... You did. I called them... You drew all the kids. Plan. kids. I still have that picture. Or Ninjas in Training. <laughs> It's true. The Ninja Clan is uh, very extensive. All the characters write personality rights. There are many that, uh, yeah. But yeah, you got almost you got all the characters right personality rights. Uh, Dead Boys looks pretty confused. <laughs> At least seem like fun. Hold on. Can you can you try can you say that again? You kind of robot out on me. Can you can you robot out for me? Uh, you did. Who did? Mhm. No. I roboted out. Am I still roboting? Joe Mori got that. We can hear you now. So my cord broke up. Yeah. Got turned off by Roku. <laughs> But what did you say? Might just be my here? crummy old internet. Uh, I think these are really going to be some fun characters. I'm looking forward oh. to this. What did you say you're going to put it out on? Pass or something? Uh, Webtoons, I believe. What are you guys going to put we're, this out on? We're looking on? for Pass? a free platform, aren't we, Raggedy? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think we really feel comfortable charging people. You know, yeah. We may do like a physical thing eventually, but I think right now we just want as many people as possible to see it as, and make it as, as easily, easily ac- accessible as we can. And, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. Because I've already kind of fallen in love with the characters. Um, Especially since I, I okay, so one day I pretty much spammed Raggedy with what felt like a fan fiction. <laughs> I was just testing things out and seeing if I could write the characters, and I was having a lot of fun because it felt kind of like writing fan fiction. Essentially, I guess that's kind of what what comics are: is just writing fan fiction and then putting them onto paper. Uh, Magatine Joshua says the Titans would even exist. That's a good way of looking at it. And she saved the whole Earth from Trigon. Actually, Raven didn't really do that. Uh, Pablo says there was a chapter that he saw his city was dying because the people felt that nothing matters. Uh, because the only thing that lasts forever is Gilgamesh. So he faked his death to free them. Oh, okay, so he goes on to say Gilgamesh was an old uh, king that is granted... 
a mortality by a Martian and it tries to help Mary, Mary but ends up watching their own destruction. Yep. His immortality makes people around him hate him. Trigon, tri, Trigon is an anime fake girl. Trigun. Okay, I, I think... Is a Trigun. It's, yeah. it's the one with the red It's It's one of those crappy animes that the weebs like. So you really like the one, huh, Booster? Yeah. Can I help with your comic book? Um, I think right now, because we've kind of got everything covered, we have uh, Raggedy and I are, are both co-writing it, and then to make sure that Pope Fire doesn't mess up, because that's something you don't want, is, is Pope Fire and Grim are in the same sentence. We have uh, Speedy editing for us. Not sure. Did Raggedy look into Tapas? Oh. No. I have not yet. We were talking about that yeah. last night. No, we're still kind of in talk on where we want to put it just just yet. Uh, Maga, Maga Dean, <laughs> Joshua is talking about Raven from Titans, which was a really weak art. What art program are, are people using? That's a good qu question for all the artists, and we'll start with Good Dog Press. Leo. I'm doing Clip Studio as usual. I like Clip Studio. I got Clip Studio and uh, Photoshop. I like Clip Studio I, better for I'm drawing. I'm hearing people are using that. I've never, I've never tried it yet. Uh, Jiminy, what are you drawing with? Uh, I'm using Photoshop. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not um, a big fan of drawing on the computer, um, so I don't really do it that often. So I, I don't I don't have as much control as I do when I'm drawing by hand. So this is kind of a little awkward it's, it's for me. The whole hand-eye coordination, drawing on a tablet while looking on the screen. I think you're is, picky. Uh, yeah, it's just. I um, think you're picky. I, I, I was. Huh? Say again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm probably picky, but uh, <laughs> but I've never I've never tried uh, Clip Studio. I probably should at some point because a lot of people just use it. So it must be good. <laughs> but Photoshop is a great is a great program as well. It's just that I I am not the best person at using it. All right, to, for, Raggedy, for what are you drawing with? That's Clip Studio, right? Ah, uh, Clip Studio Paint EX. <laughs> yeah, it's a great little I, program to you and draw with. Andy are using, and I imagine that it has to be. And I'm loving shield. I'm super excited for, for not shield for sword. See, now yeah. you got me doing it because you kept calling him shield on accident. Now I'm calling him shield on accident. <laughs> Anna. Oh, cutlass. I like cutlass. Why He's just not cut ass. Don't curse on stream, please. Cut no, ass he's, will he's, die. He's, I, uh, he's I my volunteer. favorite character. <laughs> he has to live because he's handsome. Mo what is going to kill him. I vow it. He's a handsome guy. He's, he was your idea. <laughs> he existed. <laughs> <laughs> it was your idea. That it's I true. But I will still kill him. <laughs> but no, Cutlass is handsome and you will not hurt him. <laughs> Take Ferret, you were obviously drawing with a paper and pen, and this looks fantastic, yeah. by the way. I love that. I am an analog man. <laughs> oh man, these are these are why I love doing these, because you get so many different things, and you get really creative things like this. <laughs> things I would have never thought of, and I'm pretty hyper all the time. <laughs> Uh, so Pablo says the good thing about Tapas is that you can schedule chapters. As far as I know, Webtoon doesn't have that feature. Okay, I will write that down actually because it's probably something I need to. I'll just write. I'll just type it down. Um, Ninja, you're using. What are you using? I am using what's called Sketchbook Pro. It is a free program that anyone who wishes to download, just look up Sketchbook Pro 
uh, program on Google, and you can download it for free. I've been using it since you had to pay for it. Um, and I actually like this program. It's very simple to use. You have Copic colors. Uh, if you ever buy yourself some Copic markers, you can at least draw in the same colors and match the colors mm -hmm. that way. If you want to do both digital and traditional art, you can then match your colors. But uh, as far as it goes, it is a free program, and it is, you know, it's got a bunch of, bunch of tools. I would suggest, you know, anybody who wants to do this kind of digital thing, you can get it on your phone. Uh, you can get the program on any of your tablets or devices or anything like that and just draw for free. If you guys have a little stylus that works uh, to draw with and... I have to say, I have the same program on my phone, and I'll tell you what, sure is nice when I'm on the go and I feel like drawing. I just pull my phone out. I got a little like stylus it. from my phone. And start drawing if I feel. So, it's a, an excellent uh, program. What's it called again? I would suggest it. It is called Sketchbook Pro. Or I should from say Autodesk. Autodesk Sketchbook. It's uh, by the company Autodesk. Yes. Uh, yeah, they made. But uh, I have used Clip Studios as well. They're pretty good too. Yeah. That's, the same that. people that, that's the What's same that? people that make uh, Maya, 3D Studio Max, uh, AutoCAD. I mean, they Raggedy, they, they are a top notch that, company. I I like the Sketchbook Pro. It's a good program. We've been having some issues with uh, the one from your friendly neighborhood ninja. With Tread. Yeah, we're trying to rework that boy uh, a little bit. To yeah, that might rough. work. Because we had a professional editor kind More of come immediate. in and look things over for us, and he kind of didn't like the brightness of uh, Dead Boy. So we've been looking at some other options on how to fix the design without having to change too much about it. Because we like the design, no, uh, but we not. want it to work. So my new one, my new brown so one, let's... was my brown pants. Yeah. I've been looking for. I do like that it's separate from the others too. Yeah, that's yeah. a big thing. We got to keep like the uh, really colors nice kind of separate. Or, or um, uh, ninja, ninja. That's a really nice red. I think that's the red he uses for his costume. Yeah. Well, I can tell you exactly what color red that is. That is hold on. Let me grab a... red by Topic. Strong red B forty six or B or I'm sorry, that's an R R forty six. Strong Actually, red. I got this little nifty life book from Gary Shipman. He sent it to <laughs> me when I backed Packin's Land. Funny story, Pope Fire backed every every interior of Packinstan except for <laughs> one that included a book. <laughs> so when I got all my stuff, I was like, Where's my book at? That I realized I went through my my Indiegogo and I was like, I didn't order the book. <laughs> I ordered everything else. <laughs> So I was really bummed at that. I was, like, I, was, I was so upset. I thought I ordered the book. And thankfully, Gary and I have already worked out a way for me to get the book. But it was so funny. Because I got everything. And I, I remember messaging the outlaws and saying, I didn't get the book from Gary. I'm really confused. And then I looked and I was like, it's because I didn't order it. So that was a nice little, uh, yeah, Pope Fire fan. Wah, wah. I you should go on and write a bad review. I ordered review. this book, and even though I didn't, yeah. I didn't <laughs> order the book, a book, That'd I didn't awesome. get the book. Do it. Do it. And then when I called him up, he swore at me. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Gary Shipman's a monster. <laughs> he said, I swear, I got, you didn't I order the book. Every, I, got, I mean, I can read the book because I have the digital copy, but it was so funny because I opened everything and I was like, oh, all this stuff is really cool, but where's the book at? <laughs> <laughs> and what's funny is like a week before that, that was when I messaged you because he was looking for you on stream for help. Because he yeah, wanted someone who was getting the like, book um, to give an honest said, no, opinion of it. Just and... the regular book. And then I found out that I didn't back just the... Well, what happened was, 
when I it was one of those things where it was those projects that you're like, okay, I already backed the book, so I can back the other two years, and then it turns out that I never backed the book in the first place because I I had thought that I thought that I had backed it. <laughs> And then so what I did was I just backed all the other tier years like I bought the collector's edition and then I bought the coloring book and then I realized that I never actually backed the that book and it was it was uh, pretty bad. <laughs> but Gary's pretty Gary's pretty awesome and I talked to him and we've already worked out a way for me to get the book as well. Um but it was it was still pretty funny. He even sent me a little Starfire card that's all the way over there and I'm not getting up to get it. Um <laughs> But it was really cool. Uh, you can't... Yes, Risey Lee is here. Risey, I'm so happy you're here, dude. <laughs> hail, brother. Hail. Hail, brother. Hail. Yeah, just for Risey, I, next train so, that passes, um, I won't have mute. 15 minutes left, so, <laughs> um, Yeah, the train better hurry up then. Um, is there anything train you guys better hurry like up, to show off right now, <laughs> or kind of boast about or even promote? I got a book coming out in 25 start? days. Well, at least the, uh, the, the Indiegogo launches. That is uh, 2065 Retribution Chapter 1, Scalpel Zero, or we just now, call it Scalpel Zero for short. Of it, if that's okay. <laughs> Yes, yes, a prototype cyber droid, Scalpel Zero, who's been online for over a decade, uh, is now seeing the production model come to fruition and uh, honestly fears for its uh, existence. Uh, not that Oblivion would be the worst case scenario. Uh, no, its biggest oh, fear geez. is being relegated to a university for study. Um uh, <laughs> But yeah, no, it's a it's a fun, violent cyberpunk intrigue packed thing of a bob that I'm still working to get a good tagline for. Sure <laughs> right. I've been trying to get uh, my wife's a writer, so and she's really good at this kind of stuff. So I've been trying to get her some time, but she's super mom. And, yeah, we and had a stubbornly so, and I love her for it. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, there's that whole uh, love triangle, the Kiwi, Starfire, uh, Pope Fire, um, um, Shabby love triangle with my son, Shabby. Yeah, you know how that started, He's my boy. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fight him. Okay, so. Um... I have no so idea. What, I just accepted what it. What happened is it started with our love. When I first met Shabby, you, you know, I'm always looking for new artists without... because I have a problem. Um, when I first met Shabby, I was just looking at art and I noticed upon his, and I thought this guy needs more attention. He needs more love. So I decided the best way to do that is do it in the most embarrassing, embarrassingly funny way possible. And I made a video called "The Sexiest Man in Comics." <laughs> And all it was was me trolling Shabby, but I got a lot of other women to be uh, at the big time. The, the thing they were calling uh, people that dis that disagreed with certain creators was sock puppets. So I got several different women to voice sock puppets in that video. And then um, I recorded a Google Hangout. Yeah, I recorded a Google Hangout with Shabby. And the rest is kind of history because we've kind of had a, a deep friendship ever since. And um, it, and because of that, a lot of people think I'm like madly in love with Shabby. <laughs> but it was it was just yeah because you were you voiced the character, didn't you, uh, Ninja? I remember that video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was really awesome. you voiced the female sock. You Freaking were the, sexy the, the guy that had voiced one of the socks. He's so dreamy. It was a good way to get attention because a lot of people after that started noticing him. And I should really do something else like that because that was one of my my funnest times. I think I think what I started doing after that because I, I realized that. The best way to get people to to notice something is to troll that person. 
So I started doing that with Manny, and poor Manny got the gifts of it. I've actually done several, like, maybe close to ten Skunk Girl videos now. <laughs> and then my book... My number one video on my own and channel what, what is, is your the number one video remake on your of own first channel ever trailer. <laughs> and, and I really got to admire your dedication to that <laughs> cuz you made that my most popular video. <laughs> yeah. So Pablo says something. Uh, life on I don't its know own. what that means. Yeah. Uh, Rizy says he loves it. Um, and then Pope Raven says, I'm madly in love with Shabby. And then Pope Fire objectified Shabby. Shabby liked it, though. He was totally okay with it. We had, I'd actually talked to him prior. Um, the funny thing about that is you'll notice that Shabby doesn't have any speaking lines. And this was pretty early in my YouTube career. So what happened was I recorded the Google Hangout with him. And mistakes were made where I didn't record his audio. <laughs> So what I did was I just made made his clips black and white, and I put some like really um, sensual music over it, <laughs> so nobody could tell that I made a boo boo. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I, I I think my most recent troll video has been the Cult of Raven Mrs. Mm -hmm. Cat, and it's just um a bunch of Cult of Raven members dancing. <laughs> <laughs> And I actually hurt like one of the Cult of Raven members' feelings, so I had to fix it and do a dance with them. Good. <laughs> All right, so we got about 10 oh, minutes mean, left. Does anybody else have anything nice. they'd like to promote? <laughs> hmm? Oh, yeah, you can uh, definitely what about promote my comic. Go for it. Hi, can I promote my comic? Well, my comic is called The Adventures of Image. It basically follows the adventures of Coleman Cogburn, who is also AKA Image. While it's all, you know, superhero fun, and it's basically a comic that's superhero fun and whatnot, but, you know, at the same time, you know, helps Coleman on his journey to become a hero. Yeah. You know? So it's basically just a good old straightforward superhero story. Basically, it's got to be the Spider Man the MCU refuses to be. <laughs> So, um, where can they read this? Where, where can they read this? No oh offense, my God, Spidey Knight. Alright. I got it. I have to survive on the Twitter somehow. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, okay, well, you can read it at Webtoon and Tap now, Pass, if you guys are and not you can find the links in Twitter, my bios on Twitter and so. Instagram. He's such an amazing artist, and he's, he's up and coming, and pretty soon he'll probably be pretty packed. Um, so definitely follow him on Twitter, guys, because he's, he's an amazing little dude, and we need to support him. Well, he's like my little brother, so he's a little dude. Amazing. Thank you. Okay, so Nighthawk says yeah, I'm a he wants dude. to share I'll his project Savage dude. Hawk. Uh, where can we find dude. that at, Nighthawk? And then, oh yeah, yeah he's a dork. About Nighthawk. This, this is he's an up and coming. He's an up and coming. Him and I mess with he's Gary all the time. I'm actually planning to do a, awesome. a ten minute video called uh, oh. "Professional Artist uh, Being Boomers," and it's just going to be ten minutes of Gary Shipman trying to figure out how people can hear him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> yes. A oh, faux pas. Oh, you bullet. I mean, yeah, go for it. Faux pas. Can I promote something? Mm -hmm. uh, I won't promote, I guess, three things. One's my YouTube channel. Go to Illustration by Design. Uh, <laughs> subscribe. Uh, that's one thing. Um, second thing I want to promote is uh, Zach Bradley's book called World of Goma. Mm -hmm. And it's, mm -hmm. it's ending in three days. The funding for it is ending in three days. It, the funding it requires two thousand dollars. He only has six hundred seventy dollars worth of uh, of sales so far. Hmm. So, if anyone can go That's check it. out World of Golma, G O L M A. I'll put the link in the description. Um, I mean, Zach Bradley is a fantastic artist. He's on the uh, Drawn and Quarter yeah. Fan Edition almost every week. 
and he's going to be he's going to be on the pro edition this week actually because he won last week um check out his work his book looks beautiful um so uh yeah world of golma uh also yeah, that guy's an incredible talent man he, 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 yeah. we are so lucky to have him on our show yeah uh and another book yeah, that's ending that in a few one. days as well is called I um keyboard and throttle by, oh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah josh Harris. Yeah. Um, Howard. Exactly. I mean, it's a great book. Uh, I think issue three has, uh, is, he's selling issue three right now. I got the first three issues, issue zero, one, and two. It's, it's easily one of the best comic skate books that's come out. I mean, it's yeah. goofy drawn and it's really, really well written. Um, so um, I encourage everyone to go check out World of Goma and Two Bird and Throttle. I'll put the link in the in the, uh, in the chat so you guys can check it out. Um, and then World of Goma, I actually have it or Goma. I haven't actually heard it before, so I'm definitely gonna have to check that out after the stream. Um, with the last five minutes, we're gonna show off each artist. You should you piece. should? And so, um, Cole, if you can send yours on Twitter. Uh, Spider Knight, get yours ready. I know this is your first time doing it. And um, we're going to sp start with Booster Kiwi, and he finished his a while ago. And this is Hassett the Huma Cat. Yeah. And Booster Kiwi, if it'll load. My, U my YouTube is being kind of weird. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I don't gotcha. think it's going to show because I because I, so I stopped sharing a while ago, but there's it's a hangout glitch uh, where uh, can you just go a little bit because they can't see the uh, piece? Yeah, yeah. There we go, and they're yeah, sharing pizza. And That's adorable. See, I'm just gonna hire. I love pizza too. Yeah, I love pizza. Uh. Yeah, that's, that's. I love that's pizza too much. About. <laughs> it's my this curse. Is the one I was talking about, uh, Hassar, uh, uh, co-creation between one of my with me with one of my best friends. Uh, he is uh, Polish. Uh, uh, he has a robotic arm and a life steal effect and, very and cool. I like his a design. darkness belt that allows all him right, to be Eric, practically invisible. this invisible. is your R two D two commission, and as we all know, we are people of culture here we prefer three c three po but we'll let it slide today eric <laughs> oh, thank you thank you so yeah um i didn't finish there's so many lines to draw and hey, it was beautiful. not enough time. It's so nice i will keep going and thank you guys you're for usually on the fan of the show me. with mike s miller correct Pro edition, excuse me, sorry. I, yeah, yeah, boosters fan. The pro edition, so, pro edition yeah. No, yeah, uh, you guys I'm remember, the fan remember always vote Eric. And, uh, I am the show. Always, always vote Eric, guys. <laughs> boosters Eric pro edition. Don't you get vote it. For him twice. All right, so Manny, yes, I see your unbreathable skunk girl on here. <laughs> right. Well, I got a promoter, right? Well, I'm breathing with Skunk Girl. We ended the campaign August 30th. Uh, it's been only three weeks. I'm ready to, to send it to the printer to be printed off next week already. So the backers will get their book in October uh, that fast. And, and uh, I mean, it's, it's a comic book, people. There's going to be some mistakes. It's not going to be perfect, but that's what comic books are supposed to be. And we have 100 backers. I'm going to overprint the book, but not by much. So after this, no more printing. The only time you're going to see Skunker again is when I do a tr trade paperback, and that's like maybe a year or two from now. So hey, that is Skunker. Go check it out, people. And here is my drawing for tonight. A uh, little homage to you. Starfire. A little Starfire. Oh, Starfire. Something Starfire. fast. Starfires. You know, not perfect, but yeah, that's so what I did. Really awesome. Something for you, and and stay tuned. Uh, Pope Fire is going to be the first guest. There's going to be a new show on Good Dog Press, and it's going to be totally different from what you've guys seen before. It's not going to be a drawing stream. It's going to be the Aloha Dingo Hour. It's myself and Risey Lee, 
The world and is anything doomed. goes. <laughs> oh, no. uh, drink, forward to this. Drinking is encouraged. Terrible so, idea. <laughs> great idea. Bro. Bro. This is also waiting to happen. <laughs> but, but the is, Bro. I am not going to do that show until I fulfill Skunk Girl. <laughs> After I fulfill Skunk Girl, then the gloves range. come it's off bad, and we're going to go. Idea. We're going to go there, people. We want you are our first guest. We discussed this already. <laughs> we do want you on our on our new program, and it's going to be on Saturday right, nights, Jiminy. late Saturday night. So this anything is goes. Beautiful, and I really do hope you do finish it That's after this perfect. show. And, and I know that uh, you you've been pretty busy with Sketch a Day, haven't you? Mm. Yeah, I've been trying to just keep up with it. It's uh. That's, that's one of my big problems is my speed, as anyone who's watched uh, Drawn and Quarter Fan Edition can tell you. Um, oh, no. <laughs> yes, it's true. So um, I'm, I'm doing a, trying to do a sketch a day uh, on, my, on my own channel, Illustration by Design. Uh, today, today I finished uh, uh, drawing a Batman for uh, Batman Day. So, uh, nice. so Illustration by Design, uh, check it out on YouTube, and uh, you, know, you can see me. Draw Batman over the course of two hours. Very much, and I'm so, kind of scared of what Reggie's got here. Oh, yeah, that makes. What he's got? Sense. What do you mean? Okay. He has his little sword. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I Pulling out of a scarab. What do you think he has? All right, so Raggedy, let's see what you got. Okay. Hello. Okay. Okay, please go far. Ah, uh, you know, it's just a poor dress of slave Leia. Are, are you? <laughs> now, who is this? This is actually I switched over to show Mo for a second. That was that is Mo. That is Raggedy's friend and a member of now, who's uh, the Hell Ravens, a band cool. in our world. Uh, there is. Oops. There is Rye. Oops. Hold on. I'm screwing stuff up. There is Rye. There is um, the Evan. To a and the there is Mo. <laughs> yep. And then we have Sword. That's Stop who I worked on tonight. On I'm going to continue. <laughs> Fleshing out. So, Tank and Raggedy versus Grandma. <laughs> it's not me, it's him. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Can you see that all right? Yeah. That the, the, This phone that it, it kind of just turned off, so I can't see anymore, but I'm just going to imagine what it is I in my head. It very much. In my head. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Well, Some of this stuff. <laughs> thanks for having me. It's been so much fun. <laughs> and then Ninja, um, thank you so much for for coming back to us, and thank you for doing this stream with us. I know yes. I kind of got really excited when you came back, and I was like, "You got to do at the altar with me. We'll bring it back just for tonight." I just really want to. I really want to do a stream with you, and here we are. We're with a beautiful, uh, the relentless team versus a bunch of chickens, which which seems perfect actually. <laughs> and the villain. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm just happy that I got to see you I'll again. I'll try and get this I know that uh, a lot of finished up for you. We missed you, and I'm just really happy that you came back. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to call it here. Remember, artists, mm -hmm. to, to tag your finished piece is at the altar. And I hope to uh, catch, because most of you guys are streamers yourself, and I hope to see you guys um, much. Or I hope to see you guys later. And um, please pay attention, because tomorrow we are doing the Times Review as well as Comic Book Club, uh, because Friday some stuff came up and I wasn't able to do it then. Have a fantastic rest of your Saturday, guys, and I'll see you all.